before you had mentioned uh, you're trying to find a process for your style or your own voice, can you define what do you think your style is or your approach at this point? Cinematic. Mm. No, I didn't quite say that. I was never trying to find a style. I was just trying to learn how to play with good rhythm and more interesting lines and then use that for some creative purpose. But I don't think I ever had a guiding principle as to what I was trying to fashion as a style. I think the more I let manifest the things that I was naturally attracted to, these themes and stuff we were talking about, and plus my unending interest in rhythm and time signatures and ways of getting ready. I had two things working that normally don't work in one human being. A deep, deep relationship to movies and TV. And the more I let that in, the more the music became unquestionably mine. Mm -hmm. But it was never something I was seeking. It was a journey. See, the reason you're motivated to play come from your, your real, I like to use Joe Hennison's title, to come from your real inner urge. You have to get in touch with what you're really about. Because if you don't, then you're just playing styles. Mm -hmm. And there's a level deeper than that that resonates, and you know when you're hearing that. And I could not suffer music without going deeper. Music had, music, because I didn't know anything about culture to begin with, music was nothing except my tool of pleasure. And if I didn't let it keep being that, then I had no compass. I didn't know what I was doing. I had to keep going after the next feel good thing, or else there was no journey. So the older I got, the more I went to things that turned me on. And then you listen to it and you say, that's my style. All someone's style is, is what they're attracted to, more or less. Now, if you found anybody, um, for instance, you listen to somebody, oh, he sounds like Bill Evans or he sounds like Keith Jarrett. Have you heard anybody that, oh, he sounds like me, Kenny Warner? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm like that kind of an influence. Mm. I think... It was all the guys I just mentioned, and then nobody really influenced anything until Brad Meldow came along. Because mm. now you hear a lot of guys play like him. Mm -hmm. I mean, there must be some people out there that are influenced by me, but I didn't make enough of a mark mm. to an imprint for people to, to do that. And I also don't think I was doing something radically different enough to do that. You know, and there's, a, there's very few piano players in that category. The only guy that I can say that people have then you know, played like, that I see wherever I go around the world, is Brad, mm -hmm. since those other guys. Yeah. Hmm. Who starred in that movie, The Vikings? Tony Curtis. 